In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to change your permalinks structure. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm going to show you how it works and give you an example of that, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Permalinks basically makes your site URLs more search engine friendly. So right now, if let's say, for example, I've created a post and if you click on this post, you'll notice at the very top that it says, check this out right now dot net slash funny t-shirts two slash question mark P equals six. Now, guess what? If Google came to the site and they saw question mark P equals six, they're going to think, okay, what in the world is this site all about? Now, it can obviously look at your post. However, if you have links that have the keyword title inside the link, then ju that just makes it even more search engine friendly. So your goal is to make it look like this. Green dash, medium sized dash funny dash tees. So how do we make it look like this? Well, simple, by using permalinks. So if you go back to your dashboard and you go under settings and click on permalinks, you can do that. Now, the good thing about the, the latest version 3.4 is that this is our goal here. This is what we want. We want post name. So you simply need to check this and click on save changes. Now, depending on, you know, your web hosting, if you have just set up your WordPress blog, then you may notice a message that says you should update your .ht axis now. What that means is that it hasn't actually updated the .ht access file. And down here it says if your ht access file were writable, we could do this automatically, but it is not. So we have to do one more step to make this work. So how do we do that? Simple. The what you need to do is first go to FileZilla, your FTP program, log into it, and then go to the folder where your WordPress files are located. And then click on server and make sure that this is checked. Force showing hidden files. The .ht access file is a hidden file and if that's not checked then you will not see it. Now it should be in the main folder. If you see the .ht access file, I want you to hold on for just a minute. Because for those of you that don't have a .ht access file, I want to show you how to create it. So what you need to do is simply go to File Manager, right click, click New, and create a text document. And simply drag this text document over to the FileZilla location and then right click on here, click on rename and rename this as dot ht access. Okay. So now that you have a dot ht access file, if you have one and if you didn't have one, you now have one. The next step that you need to take is to right click on it, click on file permissions, replace this with 777, click on OK. Now go back to your WordPress dashboard and click on, make sure post name is clicked, click on save changes, and as you can see successfully, your permalink structure has been updated. Great. Now, before we move on, you need to go back to FileZilla. Right click on the .ht access file, click on file permissions, and replace this with 644. 
This way you can cover your tracks and secure your site. So don't forget to do that. Now that the permalink structure has been updated, let me show you it in action. If I go back to the live site and I refresh the page and I click here, if this is successful, look at the top here. Funny t-shirts to slash green medium size funny tees. So as you can see here, the title has been updated to appear in the link. So now it is a search engine friendly link. Great. So from here on out, all the posts and the pages that you create will all be search engine friendly.